Hello and welcome. Just wanted to make a quick um, video on my Affliction League start and what I'm up to. Um, I hope this video will not be too long. Just want to explain a few things because yeah, this uh, is a really cool league and there is so much to explore and try with the new... Um, yeah, you see I'm using Spectres in a non-minion build, in an Archmage build. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's kind of what I want to focus the video around, um, some neat mechanics. So, um, first of all, I'm a primalist, as you can see, and I'm using charms. Um, I haven't unlocked this yet, I'm not doing the leak mechanic too much, because I'm also using Delirium in my maps and beyond. Um, this character is very tanky, but I died once from like a really strong rare and uh, since then I only do the leak mechanic when I don't have a delirium. So only every other map basically. I uh, haven't killed the, found the boss yet. So um, I'm using two of pretty much the same uh, charm. It's uh, offering effect on me and it's uh, mana region. If you consumed a corpse recently, so uh, we are, how are we getting corpses if we are not a minion build? Um, or we yeah, we basically use, just use corpse walkers, which uh, spawn corpses if you walk around. And they will be consumed um, by my, um, yeah, here, cluster, keystone. Um, that gives Disciple of Kitava, so it consumes a corpse every second. So you have always corpses up, so you never get a downside here. Um, you don't, um, so yeah, that's just recovery and we get from the charm, we get 5% mana over 2 seconds. With 2, that's basically 10% mana over 2 seconds, which is equivalent to 5%, just having 5% mana region all the time, which is um, pretty uh, OP, because this is like having the old Archmage mana region, where you just, my mana just bumps up to full so fast, and I'm also using the Agnostic, so um, yeah, I have Giga region, so I can run Righteous Fire, can press Valvages fire and will be at full instantly, basically. So, yeah, that's it. We have two of those, and we are also using the offering effect because we are um, actually using bone offering with the necromancer from Ascendant, which also gives us mi some minion damage, we, which we are converting with spiritual aid to give ourselves damage. 30%, we get some 30% AoE. Yeah, that's basically what, what this ascendancy is giving us. So we just proc um, the bone offering and we are almost uh, block capped without glancing blows. Um, yeah, the last charm what we will pretty much get one of these charms again. And I basically bought both of them like for 10c, around 10c. They are very cheap because uh, no one seems to use this um, tech. Yeah, uh, so we are almost block and spell block kept. We have 58% um, spell suppressed chance. We will get this up to 100% with some um, implicits on our gloves and 40% uh, roll. That's yeah, pretty much where we will get the last 15% from. We also can get 1% more from the helm. Um, so this will work work out perfectly and yeah basically we also have a blue nightmare for some spell block here we get lightning rest 18 percent here this is nine percent spell block and five percent spell block from this node so that's 14 percent spell block and also 10 lightning as extra chaos is pretty nice too and i, I go over the jewels of on the build because they are um, really important every single one of them. We also use an unnatural instinct here, which gives us just yeah a lot of things. Mana, AOE, skill effect duration, 
some damage, car speed, yeah, just a lot of good stuff. So we are using a lethal pride here, which gives us some double damage, fist taken as fire, a lot of strength, strength, double damage, and uh, extra damage from critical strikes, as a less extra damage taken. Um, this is a watcher's eye, we are using clarity on our life with arrogance and then we are also using eternal blessing with um, purity of elements, so we get some physical taken as lightning and mana taken before life from clarity, yeah. And this is a cluster prismatic card scintillating idea. And then we, like I said, we have the mastery here with the offering effect also. Converting some minion damage because we have some minion damage from the ascendancy. And we also want to take death attunement in this build because we are utilizing the new specters which are absolutely broken. They give you so much stuff. That's why we are using purity of elements as our only aura because we get all the offensive auras from our specters. We have the Wrath Aura, we have the Salutary Aura, and we have the Grace Aura, because we are using um, this uh, Thunderbird, perfect Thunderbird, this will give us the um, Grace Aura, and it also gives Lightning Exposure, really nice, it, the Salutary Aura comes from the, the little guy here, I don't know the names of the Spectres, but you can look it up on, uh, on PUEDB. And um, this guy will give us smite and um, defensive curses, which won't override our curses and uh, apply on hexproof enemies, really nice. Then we get a totem guy, which gives us a uh, wrath hour, aura, plus lucky lightning damage. This is this one, lucky lightning damage. So they give us a lot of stuff. It's uh, insane. So we don't have to run any offensive auras they give us basically uh, more auras than we would have in an like a build that would reserve the whole mana pool it's pretty insane and they are um, let me just do this trade real quick and they are really tanky since we are using bone offering they have like 50 block and spell block and we have um, also some minion life on the tree, a bit of minion region. Um, yeah, I will show you the links if I can get the straight going, but it seems like my head is uh, really laggy or something. has a lo lot of load time. This league in general is really laggy for me. Some zones have uh, I, my ping just spikes up and down. It's yeah, it's crazy. Oh man, that's like, what the fuck? Uh, okay, uh -huh, uh -huh. yeah, thank you, okay. So... Um, I will show you my tree again. So we take this minion wheel. Spectre, some minion damage which will um, affect us because spirit, um, here, this this thing, spiritual aid, yeah, and also this, uh, some life, minion damage, and we take this cluster for the convocation cooldown recovery because we want the minion all uh, minions, the spectres always on top of us, so we get the auras uh, all the time, some minion survivability also here. Yeah, basically you just run around and we convocate them to us all the time. Um, we use uh, Ray Spectre, Meat Shield, Minion Life and Empower, so we get them level 25 for an additional Spectre. We have four, one from the tree and yeah, three from the gem. Yeah, and then pretty much they uh, never die. They are like kind of immortal. I never had problems with survivability or saw their health go down, not even a single bit. So that works out really nice. We have, um, with the build, we also have almost 100% from physical um, taken from hits as an element. 
I think we get 16 from this flask with some flask effect, 50 from the chest, um, currently 14 from the helm, we can get it up to 16. Then from the um, lethal pride we get 5% here, um, here, here. And uh, then we also have the watcher's eye for 11%, that's uh, around like 95 or something like that. If you can get better rolls, um, we can definitely get close to 100%. So physical damage doesn't really do a lot of uh, damage to us. We use um, the Ascendant uh, Pathfinder also for the flask charges. So we have permanent flask uptime on Taste of Hate. Um, we have 28 quality and we also have one duration cluster and a perfect flask charge gained and flask duration on the belt. So that's exactly enough to have Taste of Hate 100% uptime. Then we use Dying Sun, which uh, has a lot of uptime while mapping, but yeah, it's not 100%. Uh, it's uh, not a lot of uptime on bosses, but yeah, I think it's still nice if you have it while mapping. It's a lot of clear area and more projectiles uh, yeah, for all our cremation, which we are using as a main skill. Quicksilver Flask, um, Curse uh, Reduction, Topaz Flask, Elemental Res, and Jade Flask yeah, for more evasion. We have with the Flask 19k evasion, uh, just the Flask and the Spectre gives us 19k evasion, it's really nice to have. We have, um, what do we have? We have uh, a lot of overcap res, as you can see, you don't even need the additional res here. Yeah, we just um, here crafted the most, uh, most of the gear I crafted myself, the rings. They are not perfect, I, they are just placeholders. Maybe I, I will craft, recraft them probably. Um, I want to get like perfect suffixes, then, then craft with uh, Veil Chaos the prefix. And we have Prophecy 1 with Fractured Tier 1 Mana. Just spammed some wo uh, Woe Essence for spell damage. Then, yeah, got some Flat Lightning Mana region here. Got some Hybrid Mana spell damage, Cast Speed. Sadly, that's Fire damage and not Lightning, but they are uh, pretty easy to make. And I, like, used a couple of Essence. I didn't want to make them perfect, just decent and we have the a series foible for um, with a uh, crusader anoint which makes 30% uh, of your mana percentage apply to damage so that's really a lot of percent damage which we need in this build yeah basically you can look at my gear in the pub and I will run um, a Mesa map with some scary modifiers just to show you how tanky the build is with beyond some pack size and yeah some delirium I hope I hope we get it. we have like 50% chance to spawn delirium mirror so maybe we get it maybe we don't let's see I will mute myself and show you the map